and two this one gonna be knee friendly and wrist friendly so you don't have to be worried if you have a sensitive one Xin chào, welcome to Moving Mango. I'm Hannah, the creator of the Moving Mango Method. Today, we are going to do an intensive full body Pilates workout to help you tone your whole body and strengthen all the muscles, strengthen your abs. So if you're ready, just roll your mat. Let's do this together. All right, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit toward your back in neutral, belly button in, relax your shoulders and feel free to bend your knees, open your legs anytime. If it's easier for you to lengthen your spine, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. Very good. And now I want to allow yourself to rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. We're going to do some warm up before we start the challenge, the main workout. Reverse. Open your arms to the side. Relax your shoulders and start to lean on one side to do side bending. Come back to the opposite side. I want you to go as far as you can. Feel the side of your body is lengthening open your shoulders to the front very good keep breathing and one more time each side with your own breath and slowly bring it back to the center now bend your elbows bring your hands to the front of your chest open your torso to one side and come back to the opposite side and back a couple more times with your own breath and five Four. Go as fast as you can feel your oblique is twisting. Two. And last one. To the opposite side, back to the center. Open your arm to the side and start to make a little pull. here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your hands behind your head and lengthen. Come back. Relax your shoulders all the time. Keep breathing. Nine. Eight. Seven, stabilize your upper arms. Six, only your forearms are moving. Four, that's beautiful. Three, two, belly button in to support your lower back and slowly bring your hands down. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And reverse. All right, and now slowly bring your head to one side. Rotate your head to the opposite side. And come back. Bring your head back to the center. Bring your head to the other side. Rotate your head halfway and come back. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Shake your heels a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to sit along the mat. Open your arms, open your legs in with the part, pull the belly button in, bring your arms towards the front and soften your elbows. Now inhale and lift your arms up. Exhale, bring it down and 10, keep breathing. Nine, eight, seven, six, and five. Very good. Four, keep breathing. Three, two and last one and let's start the main workout here i wanted to lean backward push your chest up keep your back lengthening and i wanted to inhale slowly lift your arms all the way up and bring your lip back even further arms to the front come back so 10 times you got your own breath just move in the range of movement that you feel like is good enough for your lower back you don't want to feel uncomfortable at all in the lower back so really engage your core here keep breathing inhale and exhale four go a little bit further three and two this one gonna be knee friendly and wrist friendly so you don't have to be worried if you have a sensitive one very good. Now shake your hips, open your arms to the side again. Now inhale and lean backward, bring your arms towards the front. Slowly reach one side to the opposite side. Come back open. 
and back, chest up, reach to the left, come back open nine more times here with your own breath to the opposite side and open like we're dancing, keep breathing, good, open, seven, shoulders down, far away from your ears, and six, keep breathing, press your feet down, open and then come back, five, pull the belly button in, keep your arms parallel to the ground, and four, to the other side, and open and then come back, three, inhale, to the opposite side, and exhale, switch two or you can make a shorter breath if it's easier for you so just listening to your body totally do what you feel good good open and slowly bring your hands down shake your hips and deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth that's beautiful i wanted to allow yourself to bring your hands behind under your thighs lean backward open your chest again and just go as far as you feel that is too challenging on your lower back and feel good on the abs so i want to lift your leg up one leg up now engage your core and let go of your opposite hand slowly lengthen your leg and reach and then come back so make sure you stabilize your torso here only your leg and your arm are moving so 10 9 that's beautiful 8 and don't have to touch just go as far as you can. Six, you can even let go of your opposite hand. Don't pull so hard. So that way you feel your, use your muscles more than the support of your arm. So listen to your body. Last one and slowly bring it down to the opposite side. Arm up, leg up, and slowly lengthen. Come back for 10. That's beautiful belly button in to support your lower back. Seven. Okay, don't have to lengthen your leg all the way up. Just listen to your body and relax your shoulders two and last one lengthen come back hug your knees to your chest shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and lie all the way down on your back arms along your body lift your legs up to 90 degrees flex the ankles and i wanted to inhale lengthen both legs and then come back 10 times with your own breath so 10 each leg at a time if it's easier for you nine Eight. Keep breathing. Seven. Back in neutral. Six. Bring your feet higher if it's easier for your lower back. And four. Belly button in. Shoulder blades down. Three. Two. And last one. Lengthen. Come back. Feet down. Put your whole feet down to the mat. Open your legs. Hip with the pad. Now engage your core and slowly draw your hips all the way up. Open your arms slightly wider to have more support lift one leg up stabilize your hips to the opposite side and then come back 10 times so 10 9 keep breathing you can bring your feet to the center to make it easier just listen to your body 7 that's beautiful or open your feet wider for more challenging squeeze your inner thighs Belly button in, try to keep your hips high as far as you can. Three, keep breathing. And two more times, look at your own breath. And last one, to the other side and slowly bring your hips down to the mat. Shake your hips, keep your feet to the center. Now, I wanted to engage your core, lift your head off the mat, use your arm to support your head. Now open your elbows wider, engage your core and lift one leg up with your head to the opposite side. So 10 times here, 10, keep breathing. <sighs> Exhale every time you reach up, 9, good, 8, try to bring your chest a little bit higher, 7, use your chest to pull the body up, not your arm or your neck. So listen to your body, feel that abs are working the six back abs good keep breathing three beautiful two and last one reach to the other side and slowly bring it down shake your hips and deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth that's amazing open your arms to the side lift your legs up to 90 degrees again and now this time engage your core open your elbow your um, knees wider, arms along your body, 
to make it more challenging so lengthen your legs towards the front without closing your knees and then bring it back so just go as far as you can lower it is more challenging for you nine keep breathing eight and now this time you can slightly move the angle on your knees seven six but i want you to really stabilize your hips here five press your hips down shoulder blades down for more support three and two more times so inhale and exhale and last one and slowly close your knees bring your feet down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth that's amazing i wanted to tuck your hips up again open your arms to the side and now slowly pull the belly button in i wanted to engage your core press one foot down to the mat lift one heel up and slowly bring your leg up lengthen come back and down the slower we do the more challenging it is so listen to your body press your foot to the opposite side lift lengthen bend and down and 10 times each side with your own breath so keep breathing and nine lengthen don't have to lengthen all the way up just listen to your body go as far as you can it activate your feet to the other side stabilize your hips all the time and seven good six 90 degrees lengthen come back and down i wanted to make precise movement here so just listen to your body that's beautiful and four three keep breathing engage your core lower your hips if it's easier for your lower back so listen to your body last one to the other side and slowly bring your hips down shake your hips and here deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and we are going to work the six back abs again so but this time a little bit more challenging lift both legs up to 90 degrees and you can always make it easier by put your whole feet down to the mat lift your head off the mat hands support your head engage your core and start to bring your chest to one side and to the opposite side like crisscross but with the moving your legs so 10 to the opposite side nine and we're going to move the legs later so no worry eight seven stabilize your hips six move your knees further away to feel more challenging on your lower abs at the same time four you can do this reach a little bit higher open elbows wider slowly bring your shoulders down shake your hips and inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth that's amazing the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to put your feet to the center arms along your body and tuck your tailbone forward press your lower back down slowly draw your hips and your back all the way up each vertebra at a time now hold it here stabilize the hips here lengthen one leg and bring it down three time little pulls and lift it up and five times this side engage your core very good four lower your hips anytime if it's easier for your lower back so listen to your lower back three and up two and lift and last one that's beautiful lift it up and then bend your knee draw your hips down lift your hips up again go to the opposite side hips as high as you can but listen to your lower back all the time very good keep breathing five times beautiful four down three and up down two three and up keep breathing two more times with your own breath you can do this and last one and slowly bend your knees down draw your hips all the way down and inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth wow i love it all right now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to bend one knee to chest lift your head off the mat and all the time feel free to use your hand to support your head if it's easier for the neck now, if you have a sensitive sensitive neck just rest your head down feel free to do that or use a pillow lengthen your opposite leg lift it all the way up bring it down and bend your knee switch 
lift it up, bend and switch, lengthen, come back to the opposite side, inhale and exhale, reach your chest higher so that way you feel more challenging on your six back abs and keep breathing, go a little bit quicker if you can but just really listen to your body, stabilize your hips, that's beautiful and five more times each side with your own breath. Again, always try to reach your chest higher, your shoulders higher, so that way you have more protection for your neck. Keep breathing. Exhale every time you switch. That's amazing. Chest higher. Press your lower back down to the mat. Pull the belly button in. That's beautiful. One more time. To the opposite side and slowly bring your head down. Bring your head to the left, to the right, back to the center. Bring your knees to left and to right and slowly come back. That's amazing. All right, the next movement I wanted to allow your side to inhale. Use your hand to support your head. Press your lower back down to the mat and lift your head as high as you can. Now lift your legs up to 90 degrees. I mean, lift your chest up as high as you can and start to do crisscross. So switch and 10, keep breathing. Nine, belly button in, go a little bit further. Eight, that's amazing. Seven, six, pull the belly button all the way in. Five and four, you can do this. Three, yes, two, I love it. Last one, and slowly bring your head down. Shake your hands and head deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. And now the next movement, I'm going to allow your side to engage your core, lift your legs up, arms along your body, lengthen both legs to the front as low as you can and feel good on your lower back. Lift it up. Open your leg to the side, bring it down and back to the center and lift it up again. Do it slowly 10 times. So 10, engage your core and nine, Bring your legs as low as you still feel like your back is in neutral position. So always not arching your back. Really engage your core. Press your hips down, your back down to the neutral position. Good. Six. Stabilize your torso. Press your whole arms down. Reach your hands forward towards the heels. And four more times here. Slowly inhale halfway. Exhale, halfway. You can reverse the breath if you want, if you feel like it's more challenging for you. Last one. And slowly bring it back to the center. Go to the opposite side. So down first, open, lift it up. Come back 10 times, 10. And again, don't have to go so low. Listen to your body, nine, eight, and don't have to open your legs so wide neither. Just again, listen to your body, do at your pace. Six. And five more times here. With your own breath, shoulder blades down. Four. Three, keep breathing. And two more times with your own breath. Now last one and slowly bring your legs back to the center, press down, shake your heels and deeply through your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. That's a really satisfying breath. All right, now I'm going to allow yourself to lean on one side to do psychic series. So hands support your head, the other hand in front of your chest, lengthen both legs towards the front and make sure your hips not forward, not backward, just hip on hip. Inhale and lift your leg as high as you can. Make a little pulse here, press your lower leg down, 10, 9, 8, stabilize your torso, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go slightly slower, lower for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, oh. One more step lower in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I wanted to lower all the way down just above the hips and start to making big circle here for 10, 9, 
Bend your bottom knee if it's easier for you to keep balanced and stabilized. Inhale, halfway, exhale, halfway, or lengthen for more challenging. Five and four. The biggest the circle is, the more challenging it is. Two. Now last one. Belly button all the way, way in to support your lower back. Now reverse for ten. Big circle. Nine. Do it with slow pace. Beautiful. Seven. Six. Keep breathing. And five more times with your own breath. Four. Three. That's amazing. Two. And last one. And slowly bring your legs down to the mat. All right. And now you need to allow yourself to flex the ankles. Lift it just above the hips. Bring it all the way towards the front. Make a little pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Don't have to go all the way like me. Halfway is totally fine. And slowly bring your legs down to the mat. And we're going to do it one more time. This time, bend your bottom knee. Bring your top leg towards the front. And now engage your core. Lead as high as you can and bring it down 10 times. So 10. Bigger range of movement at this time. 8. That's amazing. Relax your shoulders all the time. 7. Rest your head down on your arm if it's easier for the wrist and the neck. 4. Good. 3. Inhale. And exhale. And two. And last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Now lengthen your bottom leg and your top leg at the same time, all the way towards the front. So again, make it easier by moving it further away. Otherwise, just try to keep it as far as you can. Shoulders down. Now you want to inhale. Lift your top leg all the way up. Engage your core, pull the belly button in, press your hand down, lift your bottom leg up and bring it down 10 times. 10, keep breathing, 9, you're amazing, 8, you can soften your knee if it's easier for you. Lift your whole leg up or lengthen, 4, that's beautiful, 3, 2 and last one. And slowly bend both knees close, shake your hips and deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. That was a new movement for today and I hope that you enjoy it to the opposite side. Hands support your head, lengthen both legs towards the front, lift it all the way up as far as you can, make a little pause for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower slightly, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and one more step, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down just above the hips and start to rotate big circle for ten, nine. So slower we do the more challenging it is. Eight. Inhale, halfway, exhale, halfway. Six, keep breathing. And five. Do it slowly and with control. Four. Stabilize your hips and your torso. Three. Rest your arm, your head on your arm anytime. Again. If you need to. And last one, that's beautiful, reverse for 10 more rounds, big circle, 9, soften your bottom knee if you can, want to make it easier, 8, or lengthen, 7, to make it more challenging, 6, that's beautiful, and 5, relax your shoulders, 4, engage your core, 3, your knee is still facing forward the front, towards the front. <laughs> And last one, and slowly bring your legs down, that's beautiful. Now engage your core, flex the ankle, bring your leg towards the front and bring it back 10 times. So 10, keep breathing, 9, belly button in, 8, inhale forward, exhale, come back, 6, and 5, that's beautiful, 4, 3, 2, and last one forward backward and slowly bring your leg down good and now bend your knees to 90 degrees extend the ankle bring your leg towards the front again start to make a little pulse here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 
four, three, two, and one, and slowly bend your knees, bring your top leg towards the front, and now engage your core, lift as high as you can, and bring it down 10 times. So 10, bigger range of movement at this time, eight, that's amazing, relax your shoulders all the time, seven, rest your head down on your arm, if it's easier for the wrist and the neck. Four, good, three, inhale, and exhale, and two, and last one, and slowly bring your legs down, shake your heels, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Rest your head down on your arm, lengthen both legs towards the front, or just keep it at the same position if you feel okay with that. Lift your leg just above the hips, inhale, and Start to lift as high as you can. Now this time really engage your core and lift your bottom leg up and slowly bring it down 10 times. So 10, press your hand down for more support. Nine, belly button in. Eight, seven, you can bend your knees if it's easier for you and narrow the angle if it's easier for you. Just listen to your body. Five, four, three, that's beautiful, two, and last one and slowly bring it down, shake your hips in here deeply to your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth and reverse. That's amazing. I'm going to inhale and sit up. Open your legs, bend your knees, shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply through your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. The last challenge before we complete the workout today. So lean backward. Open your chest, bring your arms towards the front. Make sure you really engage your core and start to bring your torso to one side. Lift your arms up and down. Do it really slow to the opposite side. Come back, bring it back to the center. 10 times here with your own breath to the opposite side. And nine, keep breathing. Eight. To the other side and seven that's beautiful six lean a little bit further to feel more challenging and five i feel like my abs are burning and working like crazy i hope you feel the same that's beautiful three make sure you keep your legs parallel to each other only your torso moving Yes, last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Keep your feet towards the hips. Shake your hips and deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And let's move to the cool down part. Now if you feel comfortable enough, just cross your legs, bend your knees. Or if you feel like it's easier for you to lengthen the spine and open the hips, just bend your knees and open your legs. So I'm going to inhale slowly. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. Lengthen your spine still. Reverse. Open your arms to the side. Soften your elbows and round your spine, chin, your chest. Open and round. And five, four. You can close your eyes. Three, just listen to your body, how it feels balanced with the movements on your mat. And then slowly bring your hands down. Rotate your shoulders again. Reverse. Good. Articulate your spine. Cat and count sitting position. And round. Chin to chest. Belly button in. Come back. And round. Exhale. And couple more times with your own breath. Relax your shoulders. And last one. Slowly bring it back. Now engage your core slightly, interlace your fingers. Inhale and reach your arms all the way up. And exhale down, round your spine until your hands touch the mat. Bring it back, reach. And exhale down. And a couple more times with your own breath. Very good. Make sure you keep breathing and keep deep breathing. Beautiful. Two. 
Lesson. Just go as far as you can. Don't have to go all the way down. And slowly bring your hands back. Rotate your shoulders. Rotate your wrist. I don't know what happened with my words today. Reverse. All right. Open your arms to the sign again. And now engage your core. Make a circle with one arm. Reverse. Relax your shoulders. Your whole arm is moving. And to the opposite side. Reverse. And slowly bring your hands down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Bring your hand to on your opposite knee. Rotate your torso to the back. Reach the other hand further. Relax your shoulders. Feel your oblique twisting to the other side. And slowly come back to the center. And rotate your shoulders again. Bring your head to one side. Bring your head to the opposite side. Do it slowly and back to the center. Now this time, bring your head to one side and deep press your opposite shoulder down. Feel the side of your neck is lengthening and feel really good here. And to the opposite side. And back to the center. Rotate your head to one side. Look down to the other side. And back to the center. Now rotate your head around your neck. Inhale halfway. Exhale halfway. My neck is really needed that today. Come back, reverse. Inhale halfway again. Exhale halfway. And reverse. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Rotate your shoulders again. Fully to four directions. Reverse. I don't know if you notice the difference between all the rotation when we do with the shoulders after every movement is feel a little bit more comfortable and more flexible. Open your arms to the side and I wanted to inhale, bring your arms all the way up, reach and down to the side, reach to the side, come back as someone pulling your hands away from your shoulders. So just go as far as you can, come back. Beautiful. And one more time. Good. Hand to the front of your chest. Open. Come back for five, four, three, as fast as you can. Two. And last one. Hands on your knees. Shake your hips and inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale one more time. And exhale. And that's the work after today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next workout. Bye-bye.